right, our World Cup match versus Grubenstein. This will be kind of cool to play against Groove. He's a pretty prominent member of the tournament Discord community. He's got over like a thousand matches played. He's got the most matches played on the server. So, so we got Mute Swan in the tray, Chipping Sparrows to start. Interesting. It's my bonus card, Bird Counter. So, Mute Swan is just an expensive tuck draw bird on its own, but the White Throated Dipper as well. So I wonder if I don't take the Dipper and ignore the Mute Swan. Generating food and eggs. Birds in the forest, birds with tough cards, filled columns, eggs and cavity nests. If I take the swan, he's taking the dipper, unless he's got something better in his hand. But if I take the swan, Regardless of what he has in his hand, he's probably going to take the Dipper as a deny. So... Let's go... With... I'll take the fish just in case we wind up with the Dipper. took bird counter so I'm gonna take mute swan. <clears throat> and then we're going to be looking to building out our grasslands here. Or uh, grasslands, wetlands. Duh. If the dipper's not there, so it's gonna be draw mute swan. Play Mute Swan, unless the Dipper is still there, or something better, draw that with a mind of building out my Swan Engine. And we're going to be praying for some good luck here in the beginning. We'll probably push full tuck as hard as we can. Need some good luck on my side here. I've been having a bad run of it lately. So he kept one bird as well. So he might go for this dipper and a draw gamut. I mean, he can't. I can't imagine him leaving that dipper for me. But if he's got like a ruddy duck, yeah, okay, he took the dipper. So, do I take the Phoebe now? That will help generate food for future birds in my wetlands, and I don't need to give out food all the time. So let's go for it. All right, I'm glad it's not another bird I need to draw. So I'm actually going to go Chipping Sparrow here, gain food, get the worm back. There's the dipper. Then we will have our egg for the Phoebe in the wetlands. And then if we get garbage cards, we have two birds to tuck under. So 
so he laid eggs, he's going for maximum card draw. I think Groove's also in the top 20 ELO ranks. If he's not, he's close to it. He's been in the top 20 before, so... Very strong player. He took that eagle. What was that? Godwit. So he's probably looking for a forest bird. He's probably going to want... I wonder if he's gonna want that long tail tit. So he's he's behind the eight ball for food, but I'm not gonna try to hinder him. I need to get my engine up and running. Play the Phoebe next, and I'm probably not going to hand out food unless I really need it. Keep him out of the worms. Force him to go to this weak forest probably going to play that hawk, whatever it was, or he's going to want to try to play the long tail tit, which I don't think I would mind. Zero point bird. Nope, he didn't go for that. So he's going full talk. The battle of the full talks. So I don't have the worm. myself there. So with this dipper clearing the tray every turn, we're going to see a lot of birds in here. A lot of rule 16 potential. It's kind of scary. He's looking at five cards per turn. Now I'm going to be looking at three once I get this on deck. So he's he's looking for a forest bird to get on the board for the wrong goal. He's got no food, so I'm not going to give him any. that grackle myself. Wonder if that's what he kept from his opening hand. Nothing amazing in the tray. Battle of the Full Talks. See if I can turn this into a Hecka Tuck. I really need like a Pie Build Grieve or a Ruddy Duck or something like that. There's a Sparrow Hawk. So he's on the board for the forest. That worked out really well for him, not having food. Alright, let's go digging. Snow bunting. I'm glad I got it, not him. I was worried about that when I had that swan. So, since he's in position now to discard a card and gain two food, this worm. <laughs> now 
Now, do I throw that in my wetlands or my grasslands? I think my next action is going to be, well, depending on what the tray is, he's going to go first. Depending on the tray, he's going to be able to scoop up cards and wipe that tray clean. So if he has a forest bird that costs a worm, he can actually steal this wrong goal. But I need to get this bunting down. Sticking in my wetlands. He's thinking real hard. I think he probably he drew cards and he's thinking about what to keep. Probably has a tough decision off the dipper. But I'm not gonna be able to get anything off it. Cause I'm out of turns. Yeah, look at that tree. Is that the next round tray? It is. Puff and Crane. Oh, he played a hummingbird, so he's gonna be giving me food. That's uh, pretty crazy. Cooperative full talk. I need to get this bunting down. exactly what I wanted. That puffin. I don't know, like, if, if he plays those wetland birds like that, he's not going to be able to develop his wetland engine. I wonder if that wasn't more of a deny. He's going to want to, if he fills up, well, he's going to wipe the tray clean, so I'm not going to get the puffin. to see that and I got the card in hand to tuck on the bunting so he loaded his hand up with bombs do I want that mallard drawing four cards I can tuck three I want to play. Oh, I'm probably going to end up tucking this here. Take the cherry. That dipper is scary. So if I play the mallard, that's a negative two point play, but I'll be drawing four cards. Well, he wiped it clean. So... Do I go with Gallinule here? Draw an extra card, give him extra cards. And that Mute Swan is going to work out well for the round 3 bonus because I can place cards under multiple birds. Let's gamble. Baltimore Oriole. He's got two worms for food. Six turns left. Need eggs for my next wetland bird, but if I get, if I go to the forest, grab that cherry, lay an egg, 
Then I draw cards. I'll have the worm from my Baltimore Oriole. So let me just draw cards first to see if that doesn't change my decisions. Boy, do I want... That would get me on the board for filled columns. Wonder if this is a mistake, tucking this Oriole. And then I want... not that. So now I need another worm. So I'll probably draw cards again. Give him another worm. Yeah, he's going full tuck. Full, full tuck. So it's just a race of the tucking engines here. So that Phoebe helped him. Well, we're pot committed now, as they say in poker. I think Groove will appreciate that analogy. Lesser white throat could be very good for me. Got four turns left. Get this down in the forest. Brant doesn't do much for me. I'll drop the flycatcher. Cherry and the bird feeder. We can gain the cherry and an egg. And then we'll draw cards again and get the worm off the Phoebe. He's going to want to drop a Grasslands bird here soon. He's probably seen at least one decent one here with his... Just the dipper alone, but... He's seeing three, four, five, six, seven cards per turn. It's kind of a race to see who gets the bombs first. Ellie and company. Handing out food, I'll take that cherry I need. So we're being nice and cooperative. Garbage. Rough. I don't know how effective that's going to be for me, but I can't let him have it. Franklin's goal. If I had an egg-laying bird in my grasslands, that might work out really well. So I need the worm for my lesser white throat. Gull is a trap here. Yeah, I don't have any cards in hand that would establish a good grasslands engine for the end game, so.
Purple Martin. He's gonna scoop that up. So that'll be his fifth wetland bird, so we don't have to worry about anything else going there. He's not going to be able to play those wetland bombs he drew earlier. That was probably primarily a deny. But he, he can't let me have Purple Martin here. Do I need fish? Do I need wheat? Take the wheat in the off chance. I want to play this sparrow. Three turns left. If he leaves that Martin, I'm drawing it, but I just don't. Well, I'll, I'll be able to cycle it off the bunting. But he's just not going to leave that for me. Yeah. So the petrol. It's only going to draw one card. But it's a six point bird with a star nest. quite good enough. That works with bird counter and it has a cavity nest. So I drop, do I drop rough in my wetlands? I need eggs. Got three turns left. I can draw the flycatcher. Or I'll play the flycatcher. But I really want to get Lesser White Throat down. That'll get me three eggs. If I go rough, I can cycle more cards. So play the flycatcher, lay eggs, play the rough, and I'll have two cards in hand to cycle. Well, let's do this. another engine bird in my wetlands. Tuck that. Not what I really needed. There's the Imperial. Not what I wanted him to have. So I need an egg. So I could get three, six, nine eggs minimum off the white throat. Maybe more. I got two cavity nests. The white throat can lay eggs on the cavity nest for the wrong goal. Do I 
discard a food? At this point, I don't think so. Do I hand out another worm? Yeah. So either, so the rough is more points, but it costs one more egg. But either way, no, it's better to play the white throat here for the egg generation. I got three rounds to use the power. So I'm going to put it in my grasslands. Cycle this white start on the bunting. He's got a three point engine in his grasslands. So he's transitioning. No more turns left, so he can't fill his second column. Looks like he's going to transition to the... He must have the cards to build out his grasslands well. Oh, I screwed up. I should have taken that egg off my swan. I didn't realize it was there. That was a mistake. Or I had the egg. I had. I didn't account for that. I must have had two eggs in the grasslands. So that cost me one point. So, bird counter. So I get four points here. I draw three cards, and I'm going to tuck those three cards and get one back. I should have a decent stockpile by the end of the round for the rough. So maybe he will drop a bomb here at the end of his wetlands. This feels really close. One, two, three, four, five birds with tuck cards. I'm going to have one, two, three, four birds with tuck cards. So I need... I need my luck of the draw to come through for me here. So he's probably got a lot of cards in hand. He ditched four. He ditched one per turn on the grackle. Ditched three for the eagle. How much more could he have for the dick sissel? He's gonna have to draw cards again. need some other tucking bird. If I get Benelli's, that would be amazing. This 
thinking real hard about it. He's looking at the cards he drew. If he... If he got food with the hummingbird, I'd have got the indication, I think, by now. But, yeah, I mean, it's pretty straightforward here. Draw cards, hopefully get another good engine bird down here in the wetlands. That'll give me five eggs with the white throat. Tuck a bunch of cards, build up my reserves for the rough. Hopefully win this round goal. Probably have five. I need one more tucking bird. Or any bird I get in the wetlands, actually, I can put a card under it with Mute Swan, so that's good. Little Bittern is not that wetland bird, I don't think. Draws an extra card, which is so low value. Maybe if it counted for bird counter. I dip into the Discord here and make sure. Oh, looks like he got booted from the game and he can't get back in. He's gonna restart his computer. So, um, yeah, I'll probably end up cutting this part out to shorten it up. All right, we're back. Groove got booted from Steam and it took him a little bit to get back on, so edit that part out. Alright, so we get a food. Let's, uh, well, I need a worm here. Worm is a good food to have in general. We'll give him the reroll on the bird feeder. I'd rather have a worm-eating bird going down in this fifth slot in the wetlands than a fish-eating bird. Generally the good tucking birds eat worms. I got a worm in the weed, so if I see a bush tit, but then I guess a bush tit, a tuck labor would, would conflict with the lesser white throat. Um, let's actually take this cerulean warbler. What's he got for cavity nests? Got one, two. Now I've got one. Maybe I want the Bell's Vireo. I think I want that Clark Scream. I should have taken that fish. So I got five activations left. I'm going to need one egg. So I'll gain food. I'll probably overpay for that greed. Do I want the cerulean as well? Let's grab it. I want the worm for the Vireo. What are we going to tuck? This. Actually, I don't know if I... I have the food for that. I could play that as my fifth wetland bird 
get a card under it. And steal that round goal. I have the food for it. But I'll play this Bell's Vireo first. Cost an egg, but I'll need two eggs. So we're tied for birds with tucked cards. I get this down and tuck under it. I'll be ahead by one. by two rather, but Clark's Grieve is a better card. And it, yeah, I don't know what I'm thinking here. City's Warbler. I was trying to get tricky for a minute there, trying to get some hidden awesome value out of one of these counts as double birds, but Clark's Grieve is really the way to go. So I got four turns left. Play the Vireo, gain food. Lay one egg. Actually, I wonder if I don't... I'll just lay eggs here, hand out a worm. Overpay for the Grebe. And I'll still have the two worms for the Vireo later. I don't need it now. That's what I'll do. I'll lay eggs, get the worm. Alright, so he is going to go. Wonder why he played Dick Sissel. That must be Prairie Manager. His second Prairie Manager bird. Because he's, he's fully intending to go full wetlands tuck here. So he'll have one, two, three, four, five birds with tuck cards, and I will as well. In the off chance that I need to lay egg, uh, I have eggs in my wetlands, I can... Actually, that's going to be what happens here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to burn eggs. I could burn them for extra cards. To try to clear the path and then have... That'll help create a surplus for the rough at the end of the round. So maybe that's what I will do. Get more value. Keep that in mind. This is gonna be close, I think. Fifty two, I'll probably end over sixty points. That's a pretty good pace. Deny him the reroll. So really, his bombs at this point, his wetlands is full. It's going to be like bonus card birds, prairie chicken, woodcock. Not going to be great horned owl because we saw that and ditched it. Not going to be Baltimore Oriole. We saw that and ditched it. Can 
not hatch. Just, just not worth going for that, I don't think. Not a tucking bird, but generate those extra points, but it'll actually help. We're still gonna have to chuck that card at the end because we're, we're gonna want a surplus for the rough. Well, he played common raven here. I wonder if he doesn't have like omnivore or rodentologist. A late round three raven isn't gonna do a whole lot. He must have rodentologist and prairie manager. Does he have a second bonus card bird? No, he doesn't. He's got one bonus card. So with this Dixis, I'll play. He's got zero food. One, two, three, four, five. He will go and tuck a card under the Dick Sissel for six. Win the round goal. That Setis would have helped win the round goal, but I think getting the seeing the extra card is more important. Difference of three points. Black, red start. Well, we've already got the white throat. That ain't gonna do much for us. Beater. Hummingbird. Do I spend the egg for the extra card? Tuck three. I want the surplus for the rough. Garbage. Really need a Benelli here. We won't hand out the worm. garbage. Might be kind of dangerous. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep that egg. So let's see, I got a three, three point engine. But I'm working on feeding, keeping the rough and the snow bunting fed. Saw that coming. So he did gain two worms. Is that gonna be a warbler, blue wing warbler, hooded warbler? Really needed a Benelli there to tie on this round goal. But... So this will be a three point play plus. So that doesn't advance me toward the round goal. I'll, I'll, I'm gonna save. Save that Bell's video and save this egg in case something else comes up. Goldfinch, I could have the snow gold combo. And check out my video on that. Chiff chat or chaffinch. Mockingbird, too late for that. Want the worm, the chaff inch. I could have a six point engine coming off round four. 
but I'm gonna run out of cards fast. And then I can't feed my rough or my bunting. I need a wheat and a cherry. get the food together for the bluebird and the goldfinch. I think he's gonna want that prairie chicken. Oh, he's got the swift, so he's gonna go swift raven here. chicken. I need a wheat and a cherry. And then I can drop the bluebird prairie chicken combo. Discard the Avocet for the reroll. Got the wheat. Cavity nest. But yeah. Burn off my eggs and my wetlands as best as I can to try to prepare for the white throat at the end of the round. So that was a one point play, but I'm going to drop a nine point plus bonus card. Minus three, so six point minimum. Hopefully I get a good bonus card. Then draw cards for two turns. Get two worms from the Phoebe. Play the Bells of Virio. Five eggs spent, so my wetlands will be open for the end of the round. And then draw cards again to fill up my hand for the rough. So his cavity nest could have Omnivore. Again, he's only got one bonus card, so it's probably for the cavity nest you know I don't I don't know that I mind him playing that bird this late in the game just fourth prairie manager bird so maybe that's what it is his bonus card is prairie manager he's got four of them I believe that maxes it out and then he's just gonna lay eggs get worms for the swift And we whiffed. 
Well, the color just isn't horrible. We'll play the Bell's Vireo and get two points out of it. It's going to be another close game. I don't know, it, it feels really close. I've got a lot of tucks though, but he's going to be laying a lot of eggs. He's moved away from his wetland engine. Gossock, it's not Finelli's. Nope. Oh, need my food. Let's see how many eggs I got in my wetlands. I got two. So. I need to spend an egg here. like to have those way earlier in the game. Take the worm for the Vireo. Get rid of the totally worthless birds. Bell's Vireo, pray for a miracle. So he's got six eggs. Let's see. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And I'll have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. left. So this would be five, six, seven point play, minus one is six point play. This will be four, and I'm counting on a good bonus card. This is like playing the Vireo and getting a three point bonus card. I think I'm going to go with the safe bet. And go with the guaranteed points. here, secure the wrong goal, get that last worm for the swift. Yeah, I feel like he won it. He's got a max out prairie manager.
Very interesting game for both of us. He's definitely playing well. All right. So I can't compete on eggs. So I'm going to draw cards here. So I'll tuck three. I'll draw another card. I'll have five cards. I'll tuck three. Discard one. I'll be down to one card in hand again for the bunting. So if I discard the egg, I can convert it, convert that card into a card on the rough. Where was that earlier? I gave out that worm for nothing, I guess. I couldn't have known better at the time. up eight total points from our teal powers and that will get us on the board for the round goal watch me drop Benelli here oh. all right let's see how it goes The thrilling conclusion. This was a really good game for both of us. I think he broke a hundred. I might have broke a hundred too. Pretty close. It's gonna be eggs versus tucks. Oh, so close. Dang it. I just can't seal the deal on these games. Good game, Groovenstein. Let's have a look. Omnivore Specialist. So he didn't have the Prairie Manager, so that's where the Magpie came in. Alright, well, very fun game. Very strong game for both of us. 200 plus scores. Very good. Well, thanks for watching, everyone.